Have you ever noticed how easily, without even thinking about it, you complete daily tasks such as locking and unlocking doors, tying shoes, and washing tableware dozens of times every day while your child used to struggle eating with a spoon or drinking from a regular mug themselves might accidentally break or drop something while just trying to hold it. The reason for such a difference is that we develop our motor skills all the way through our babyhood to adulthood and there is a variety of ways to fasten and increase the efficiency of this process. Welcome to Nova Kid and let us share a few techniques to help your child develop their motor skills. Motor skills are those that involve a refined use of hand muscles. And the better they are built up, the more complex tasks such as grasping objects, fastening clothes, or handcrafting a child can complete. Children evolve these abilities with their regular everyday actions that involve touching, grasping, pressing, and any other ways of tactile interaction you can think about. Everyday exposure to new materials, shapes, and structures gradually gives a child an understanding of how to hold and use items around them effectively. But how can it be helpful while learning a language? You may ask. It can radically change the whole learning process. I will answer. Here are some benefits of using motor activities in the classroom. Help students concentrate. Immediate replies language to life. It allows switching between mental and physical activities and simply makes lessons more fun and less monotonous. That is why developing motor skills is so important. Your part in this as a parent is to provide as many opportunities for it as possible. Good news? You won't have to buy anything fancy or expensive. Let's take a look at some most common ways to do it. Everyday routine. Help in the kitchen. Start by asking to bring something from the fridge. It can be vegetables, fruit, or a bottle of water. Can you fetch me a bottle of water, my dear? Ask if it's warm or cold, light or heavy, smooth, shaggy, or rough. Is the bottle of water warm or cold? Cold. Light or heavy? heavy. It's heavy. Getting a pickle out of a jar. Pouring water into a glass or washing fruit might be a great sensory experience. Can you pour some water into mommy's glass? Open up the bottle. There we go. Thank you. You can close the bottle. Ask them to clean their room. Do you like to clean your room? Yes, mommy. <laughs> Folding clothes, sorting toys in boxes or containers would help finger coordination and space measurement. Dressing. Can you put on your coat, my dear? Yes, mommy. Buttons, zippers, and shoelaces might be a challenge, but your help and encouragement might turn into a fun motor skill practice. Let me help you, my dear. There we go. You look good. Exploring nature. While on a walk, let your child touch things around them. Grass, trees, flowers and ask questions like can you pick up a flower can you tear it apart can you do it with a tree pick up a few rocks and ask which one they can pick up and if they can break it compare different surfaces like fences or walls ask if they are smooth or rough and what touching them feels like toys and games a huge basket of plastic toys of the same kind won't benefit, but a set of simply shaped blocks of different sizes, shapes and materials will give much room for exploration. You can compare and combine them in any possible way. Practice putting one on another and see if a slippery ball will hold better on another slippery ball or on a shaggy cube. 
puzzles, which are my kids' favorite, remote control cars or doll houses, depending on the age and current motor abilities, all great options themselves. Holding a pencil or a brush is not as easy as it seems to us adults, and even more of a challenge is drawing a smooth line and coloring within a certain space. Practicing with different coloring materials helps children control their hand muscles better. By the way, check out our tutorials and make fun pictures with our teachers. Paper cutting, paper chains, gift cards, collages, and paper mache. All you need is scissors, paper, and glue. Making figures out of clay or dough. Adding some grains, beans, seeds, or just about anything you can find in nature, such as flowers, leaves, sticks, or strobiles. While doing it, ask questions on how sticky or fluid the material is, how it feels squeezing them, and demonstrating the right way to hold things. Here are some examples of such activities by our teachers. Cut and glue modeling, beading, puzzles, and many other activities for different ages. The bigger the variety, the better. There are hundreds and hundreds of more ways to develop fine motor skills. It's all up to your fantasy and your child's interest. Don't forget that the main goal is to practice and experience new things. So don't forget to encourage and support your child and keep them motivated. Let your child explore the world and do their first steps into fun learning with Nova Kids. Bye!